big brothers and big sisters. Every year, a big part of their fundraising is the Dream Home Lottery. They've given away 32 of them. Bridget, they're set to give away their 33rd, and there you are. And it's it's lovely, Ryan. So we are going to uh, tour the entire facility today, hopefully give you a little bit of information about Big Brothers, Big Sisters, the amazing work that they do. And yes, there's a little sister and a big sister on hand, which I love. We'll get to them in a moment. But before we go any further, Lana, welcome back to Breakfast Television. Thanks for having me, Bridget. It is, by the way, Happy New Year. And you too. Uh, this is a huge fundraising event for Big Brothers, Big Sisters. Uh, so I, my mission here is twofold this morning. Yes, to showcase the house, which we will get to. We're going to meet the design designers, as well as tour this. Right now, we're sort of uh, ensconced in this. I, I call the color clay. It's very relaxing, very natural. Warm and inviting. It mm -hmm. feels like home. Now, this is one of how many homes that you've had to date for sale that are part of the, the, the dream home lottery? This is our 33rd, if you can believe that. Amazing. I don't think I look that old. <laughs> <laughs> now, for people that don't know Big Brother, I mean, I think we can assume we know what Big Brothers and Big Sisters is, but I think it's always good to take advantage of a time when you can sort of state the mandate because it's so important, the connection that you give these little ones. It sure is. Anyone can benefit from another person in their life that cares about them. And sometimes we, we just need that a little extra reinforcement um, for, for your own personal resiliency to be able to handle the challenges that life throws at you. And that's what mentoring is all about. That's what Big Brothers, Big Sisters does. Okay, so we are going to, throughout the morning, be putting up the info still with all the information on tickets. Uh, right now, because they are on sale, they're going fast. This is a beautiful house. Yes. By the way, we're in Sherwood Park. Where we're at right now is like, it feels like we're on an acreage. I know, right? Balmoral Cove is this wonderful little community, and uh, you couldn't ask for more um, accessible kind of space to the city, um, but it's it's this really rural, rural feeling. Lots of amenities, though. Lots, oh, very, very close to everything, but yet you, you take like a, a 30 second drive and you're like Whoa. but there's these two chat i'm gonna squeeze in between the two of you although not to be separated you are alexandra alexandra by the way you look absolutely glorious this morning very sparkly very beautiful and you are her bigger sister yeah. you are tiana tiana okay i'm gonna ask you what do you guys do together what is what is it like having tiana come and hang out with you um, it's awesome, and all we do is like just hang out with each other, pl make Play-Doh, swim, we do a whole ton of things. You actually make Play-Doh? Out of scratch, yeah. Awesome. Uh, we, you're going to talk to me a whole lot more this morning about the kind of awesome fun you guys have, but I'm curious to you right now, because maybe people leaving for work, why did you get involved, and how has it sort of changed your life? Those are two big questions, I realize. <laughs> <laughs> they are. Um, I think I got involved. I just was really interested in volunteering. I was interested in finding something that suited me where I could help out my community and this seemed like a perfect fit. I love kids and um, finding a kid that maybe needed another person in their life to be a positive role model was just the perfect fit. Awesome. Is she like totally cool? Yeah. I mean, she's got like a, an awesome ring right on her lip. Yeah. She's cool. Yeah. I'm not as cool. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> You'll find out. Uh, we're going to be back with these two fabulous people. We're here sitting. I, I have to tour this home. Uh, there's an amazing master bedroom. I haven't been, been downstairs yet, so I have no idea. You'll discover it with me. Of course, the Dream Home Lottery here is on, and we'll give you all the information on our website to get your tickets now, friends. It goes for a great cause. We'll be back after this. Bridget Ryan in the uh, Dream Home. That big brothers and big sisters are going to be giving away. Um, I love dream homes because they're exactly what you do, in fact, dream. You don't know that you have these very specific dreams about design or living concept, but when you walk in, you're like, yes, yes, this is exactly what I've dreamt of, like this light fixture. It's amazing. Thank you very much, Ryan. Uh, the woman responsible for this light fixture and so many others, the sort of concept, the brainchild, if you will, one of the, uh, I call you guys the trifecta of awesome <laughs> interior design. You are one of three, Bonnie Walters, Lovely to have you back on the show. Thank you so much. Nice to be here again. It's, uh, well, okay, so let's talk about this. And, and Rich, I'm going to charge you to share with our viewers right now, and we're going to talk about the kitchen to start with, because everybody wants to see the kitchen. Uh, this is a wonderful kitchen, and there's lots of really cool, unique features about this place. Right, right. Quartz countertops, aren't they fabulous? And, and highly high gloss kitchen cabinetry to give it a real contemporary flavor. And we were just, Rich and I were actually just talking that this is the kind of kitchen that you cannot have an argument in. You can't slam the door angrily no. because it won't let you do that. No, they, they, they close 
by themselves. Uh, that stove. Just, just about. Isn't just that a, fabulous? Oh, the, the, gas, this, range? the gas range oh, is amazing. My, yeah. um, let's talk about the refrigerator, the gas range. Is, in fact, though, um, after we take in the stove, is the sink, it feels like it's the same stuff that tea fowl is made from. Yes. It is. It is. Isn't Genius. It? <laughs> That's crazy. Is that a new trend? Yeah, exactly. And, and isn't it cool that it's dark? Yeah. And, yeah. So it blends right into everything. Okay. And then, of course, we're, let's let's move and we're walking and we're talking now because we're showing and we're telling. Uh, this, of course, opens up into the living room. And, of course, you have this fabulous dining room. we got to give a shout out to the furniture. Very unique, very warm, very comforting. And it also comes with the house. It comes with everything. All right down to your glassware and your accessories and the light fixtures and the draperies. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I I, the lights are amazing, and I'm going to step over here because uh, come with me, Bonnie. Because if you sort of you know have your fill, Rich, I'm over here. I'm going to the I'm going to the master bedroom, which is just like feet away. And I would be remiss if I didn't share this with our viewers because Bonnie, um, the design concept in here is amazing. First of all, very open concept. Yes, yeah, and we tried to make it quiet, so it's you know more relaxing in this space, and then. Uh, you've got your fabulous ensuite off the, off the bedroom in this massive closet that. A tub. The tub is ridiculous. I always like to. It, it's amazing, and I mean, it, look, it's huge. There's like a shower for seven, actually <laughs> probably eight. Uh, you gotta love the two sinks, and then of course there's the wardrobe room. Bonnie, this is where you and I are going to end, because you come in, you see, oh, pretty standard. You know, you're like, okay, I see the clothes on the rack. It's a nice walk-in closet, and then the piece de resistance. Ta da! Your washer and dryer in here. Wouldn't that be handy? Oh my gosh. Why don't? Why doesn't every house have this? I know. It's so great. And there's another set downstairs for the other bedrooms. Because <laughs> wow. we wouldn't want you running up and down. No, no, no. This is your dream house. If you dream it, Bonnie made it so. Bonnie, you've, you've uh, again, you've gone above and beyond. Uh, so beautiful. Love it to have you back on BT. Thank you so much. Good to be here. It's great to see you. It's great to see something like that. Oh, yeah. Well, that's our that's our sexy going to break shot. Laundry in your closet. Uh, Walk-in closet, that is. It's probably bigger than my apartment. Uh, this is the dream home. It supports the big brothers big sisters and we'll be back more breakfast television we're going downstairs i'm going to introduce you and spend some time with a couple little and big sisters after this right now it's back out to bridget ryan at the big brothers big sisters dream home hey bridge Hey, Ryan, we're here in the basement, actually, uh, which, you know, I say basement, but the, when you come into a dream home, there's nothing basement-like with basements in dream homes. They're actually awesome. They're like, they're going back to the days of the rumpus room where you actually spend most of your time. The carpet, I have to give a shout out to this carpet. It's amazing as well. I've noticed throughout, and I'm hoping you do as well, the furniture in this 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 joint is incredible. And this man, this is uh, Al. Al, welcome to Breakfast Television. Good morning. Now, Christopher Clayton is the store from where all of these, this furniture that we've been seeing this morning is from. It's, it's amazing, actually. I, I, I've, I've noticed you're going to see some, uh, uh, a, like a drawer set within this segment. Fantastic. Um, but let's talk about the design because you have a, a real um, approach to it. And you're, you, of course, with trends, you're standing by one of the greatest trends right now. Yes, this is a, a sofa table and a coffee table. It's a new trend for 2013. It's very rustic looking, so it's great for kids. You can spill wine. You could do anything on this, and you're not going to damage Seriously, it. Seriously, you would. You could actually spill wine oh, on yeah, this. Oh yeah, for sure, for really? sure. And it's got beautiful chrome legs, and uh, it's it's a really nice, beautiful piece of furniture. It's like a piece of art. That's exactly what it actually. I was just thinking that. Let's let's walk and talk because we're like I like to say this morning we're showing and we're telling. Uh, then you have like a j now this sectional is amazing. This is probably 12, 14 people could fit on this. Yes, uh, we custom designed this at Christopher Clayton to uh, fit this room. So 12, 12 people could sit here really comfortable and uh, enjoy a, a really good movie. Really good movie, nice big screen. Of course, all of this comes with the home. Should you buy tickets? And you absolutely should. Uh, then we're heading over to, now this is, like I said earlier, the perfect place for kids to come and hang out. What is this? This is, a, this is a, <gasps> a microphone, so it's like a karaoke machine kind of too. And we got a, a grand, little mini grand piano and drum set guitar. Oh, there is going to be a sing-off later. And look, at this is awesome because uh, there's so much for people to do. This comes. This is the band that I just formed, actually. Um, actually, I, I'm not in it this 
their part of it. Um, what is your What is your band's name, by the way? This is Little Sister talking about big sisters, little sisters spending time with. Of course, this is Alex. She's the little sister. Tiana's the bigger sister, rocking out on the guitar. Um, Alex, what is the name of your trio, your band? The Crazy People. Oh, I love your style, the crazy people. Um, do you know how to play the drums? Uh, I don't know. We're going we're gonna to find out uh, later on this morning. This band, the crazy peoples, is going to kick it up. You haven't even opened up the no. key. <laughs> <It's like laughs> well, the, key, the crazy peoples need to learn how to play instruments perhaps in the next half hour. Come on, Al. We're still walking and we're talking because this entire basement actually spills into two fabulous, well-sized rooms. I'll just let Rich take a dip into this one, but I want to focus on this one, Al. This is the next room, and uh, this is spectacular in here. There's a couple of really cool concepts happening in here first and foremost are the, uh, the the chalk wall yeah we did a nice chalk wall in here so a young man can write down his dates hockey games anything he wants to <laughs> <laughs> so this, is this a room that's geared towards the dude yeah it's, it's geared towards a young a younger man and uh, the bed again it's it's a beautiful bed it's uh from um, North Carolina, and then the, uh, the other piece of furniture from North Carolina, too. Uh, the furniture, uh, I, it, it, I mean, obviously, it looks like sound gear. It looks like the, like the, the traveling cases. It's amazing. Uh, and again, all of this, it could, you know what? I would like this room, and I'm not a dude. I think it's amazing. Uh, but I like how you have the, the chalk wall, the time that you can put your deep thoughts, your potential songs. Yeah. And uh, well done, Al. Oh, thank you very much. So cool. This is one of the many rooms part of the dream home. Uh, this supports the Big Brothers Big Sisters lottery. And you know what? This is a huge fundraising event for them. Ticket information on our website. Get your tickets now. They've done an amazing job. I'm not using these expletive words because I'm overly passionate. It's a great house. This is a classic win-win situation. We'll be back. News, other traffic, and more touring of this fabulous house. We'll see how the crazy people are doing with their first album coming out. Hey everybody, welcome back to Breakfast Television. Uh, it is so great to be here. We're wrapping up our time in the Big Brothers, Big Sisters, beautiful home lottery. Uh, this is the house. Earlier we took you downstairs into the lower level. Right now we're back upstairs though. And Lana, before we um, you know, spend a little bit more time with the uh, awesome duo that is over here, uh, I want to remind our viewers again just how important this this fundraiser is for you guys. It is very important. It really is. This, this amounts to 20% of our annual budget. 4,500 kids in our community receive services from Big Brothers Big Sisters. And so if somebody's watching right now going, yes, you know what, I want to experience that, I want to make that, because a lot of people are New Year's resolutions, uh, you know, is to get more involved. This is a great way to get more involved. It sure is. In a li as little as an hour a week, you can really change a child's life through mentoring. And what do they have? Is there any kind of requirement that they have to have? Is there sort of a... to be a caring individual. And, and there is a, an application process, of course. But really, if you have um, an interest in helping kids, that's all it takes. All right. And there was a very, very caring person. Uh, two and a half years ago, this lovely, gorgeous lady um, met this other fabulous, gorgeous lady. And now you two are. Is it fair to say you guys are besties? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> now, what did, what did, when you guys first met, were you, were you nervous, Alex? Were you sort of, were you a little bit apprehensive? A little bit, yeah. Do you remember what you guys first did? Uh, make puppets for my class, I think. You made puppets? Yeah. Um, that is beyond cool. Uh, and so what other kind of things do you guys do? Because obviously do you, have, you must have friends and you sort of like, I'm going to go hang with my little sister now. <laughs> and are they sort of, do you find that people are like, that's something I want to do? Yeah, people, uh, whenever I mention it, are really excited about it. They ask me tons of questions about it. They want to know. And so this, and, and, and I guess I'm, I, I guess what I want to really stress is that the two of you met under this guise of Big Brothers Big Sisters, and do you feel I, should, I feel like I should separate you and ask you personally, but do you feel like you're friends for life? Uh, yeah, I really do. I think that the connection that we've made definitely goes beyond Big Brothers Big Sisters. Like, you know, if one day we are no longer part of the organization, I think that we'll we'll keep in touch and we'll we'll remain friends. Absolutely. And so, and so you, because I asked you, because we know that, of course, she's going to be a nurse when she's right now in school for nurse. What do you want to be when you grow up? That I have to think about. I'm not sure. Maybe a teacher. A teacher. Oh, now, you're a big sister yourself, aren't you? You have two younger siblings? Yeah. So is it nice to have somebody kind of feel like they're taking care of you to have a big sister who takes care of the big sister of the family? Uh, yeah. 
Do you ever go to her and be like, yo, so I got a problem. I need to talk to you about a, a boy in my class or something. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, awesome. And there's some good counsel, some good <laughs> guidance coming from you? I, I hope so. I like to think <laughs> there is, but... <laughs> I have no doubt, actually. Yeah. That's wonderful. Uh, this kind of relationship, two and a half years, I bet you if we come back 50 years from now, I'll be old and tired. They'll still be uh, still be sitting at this bar. Uh, it's awesome. It's Big Brothers, Big Sisters. This is the fabulous home that I'm talking about. It's gorgeous. It's in Sherwood Park. And uh, there's the information that you need to know to get tickets. Do get tickets, by the way. Breakfasttelevision.ca for all information. We're going to wrap up BT right after this.